I got into music as a kid. My mother was a gospel artist, and we traveled around within a van. We moved to Nashville when I was a teenager, uh, the mecca of country music. So I got involved in country music uh, as a teenager and started touring professionally when I turned 18 after I finished high school. I came from kind of a folk, almost an acoustic kind of background that led into when I discovered country music. Marty Stewart was a huge influence on me. The interplay of those guitars when I found where the two of those met and how they played off of each other, that sparked me. So I was probably the only 13-year-old kid that was listening to Marty Stewart records. You know, rhythm guitar is a whole nother art as well. You know, so I was playing, you know, supporting my mom with just two acoustic guitars and I really devoted myself to be able to find ways that I could make that sound full and keep it moving and, and it's something you could feel. And I try and take that over into, you know, lead playing as well. I want to, I want to you know, find that one little thing that just kind of makes you move, makes you shake a little bit, because that's, you know, that's what does it for me. I got my first electric when I was uh, 13, and I was playing through a monitor system. <laughs> when I got my first real guitar amp after playing through a solid state monitor rig, it like was mind blowing. I've always been a fan of old Fender amps, Deluxe Reverb, uh, Silverface. Kind of my mainstay has been an old blackface Fender Bassman. And then from there I kind of got into more of the Vox style amps. You know, there's so many amp designs that are modeled after old amps. And what I liked about this amp when I heard it is it didn't sound like any of those. It was like its own sound. It was its own original idea. And when I played through it, it was really inspiring. And, uh, and the fact that when I hit the boost switch, it was so usable. Uh, it just took the sound of my guitar, made it louder, and broke it up even nicer. The front of house engineer with us has a lot of stuff to mix. This amp cuts the house well. The first night I had it on stage, I was like, that's it, I'm sold. Playing through this amp, it just made me feel like I was really in control of the sound. 